Welcome to Shop Night, where I make a gift for a deserving person in our community. Hi, I'm Mike with BootsBibleHuman.com. If you want to see more videos on cool stuff like this, please support me by doing this. Without it, I won't be able to continue and I'd really love to make more videos. All right, this is part two of Brigetta's Tall Cavalier Boot. If you have not seen part one, part two won't make any sense to you, so please, Click right here to get to part one where I've set it all up in a playlist for you. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the heel piece. We're going to use information from our measurements and tracings and from building our midsole to build a heel piece. So follow along folks. You notice that my heel here is not in a straight line or a rectangle, that in fact, that it has a rise in it. This rise will, is what's going to grab the heel. It's going to line up here with the six holes and fit like this on the pattern. I've used this blue piece of paper to basically imagine the tri or the rectangle that would go behind the vamp pattern. So it would attach to our vamp here on this side, and then the other side would wrap around to here. At people's heel wraps in a shape. Here's their Achilles tendon coming to the heel, right? And that their heel does something like that. So if we make a straight piece of material for the heel, it's gonna slip and slide if off. And I don't want the heel to slip, so what do I do? Well, if you were to put it on the boot and you had your boot on, you would say, man, if I could just pinch this part of the material and take cut out a triangle then it would have snugged in really nicely and grabbed the heel and then the problem is you have all the extra material on the upper boot because this boot goes goes above her her uh, knee and that gets attached to the seam here on the top so you'd want to have removed this material to make it comfortable so how I handle that is called rotation, rotational dart theory, which I learned from Master Jose. I'm gonna take this triangle and I'm gonna spin it down. And so it looks like this. This rise will, is what's going to grab the heel. It's gonna line up here with the six holes and fit like this on the pattern. If we look at a foot here, which I've drawn carefully, this is the E measurement, which is the circumference of the instep over, around the heel. And K is the largest instep or largest or the point where the Achilles tendon is in the furthest. And that's where we're gonna to wanna to put our seam. Because if we put our seam here or we put our seam here, it's going to hurt and feel weird. So we're gonna put it where we have the most room. So the first measurement we're gonna interpret is K. On Brigetta, K equals three. So from hole to hole, I'm going to make sure that it's three. And then this dot here is the dot I made for when I'm, so this is K right here. When I draw my lines to close off the heel, and it corresponds to the top of the paper here or this pattern. I just made a dot, I could have made a line for you, which is probably what I should have done is made a line, not a dot. So I'll make a line at the quarter inch. So we know that our rise, um, so we know that again, this is our E, this is our heel, we picked six. This piece of information is new and that is one eighth inch of rise per punch or 20 millimeters. So using our four hole punch, every time we use this, we want our rise and our heel to basically equal one eighth per, we're gonna use it five times. So that's five eighths. So I've done a five eighths line here and here to show you the rise. And now we've interpreted K. So we're just going to use our punch as a compass again to come out to six. So this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, and this is six. And we'll do the same on this side. A reminder, here's our six. We're gonna make a heel cup wrapping. Now we're six. I would like to make this boot symmetrical in uh, that I want it to be, the seam to be 90 degrees from the walking surface or the midsole. So I'm just gonna use the tip of my ruler here 
to draw, again, leaving a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to draw some lines. So here's another uh, arbitrary piece of information. And that is when I'm doing this particular count, what works best on the human body? Again, we're made out of triangles and not um, Legos or circles usually or ovals. I find it's easier to build when you think the human body is a triangle. Is that my using my word space, I have gone one, two, and then I'm going to add two. So that would be basically one, two, three plus two using my weirdo system. So that'd be a three plus two. This information will be needed when we make the vamp covering the toes. So that's important to know. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a note of that, that we're making a vamp of, I'll write it over here is three plus uh, two. Is that correct? I'm writing upside down. That looks like a two, right? Um, no? no? No, it looks like lots of two, folks. <laughs> writing upside down like I'm expert at that. So we have a quarter inch seam allowance. We're gonna go up to where we marked our seam for that. Then we're gonna come back down and we're gonna mark our seam for that. And so this is our, our heel piece. Now again, we're going to use a buckle and straps. So this is where the K comes in on this particular piece, is that we're gonna draw a line from here to here. And this is going to be where we add straps to our heel piece. We're gonna line them up. Now our buckle is seven eighths, so I'll be making these straps seven eighths long and attaching them um, in a little bit. So the next important hole count that we need for when we make the vamp is this one. And so this is going to equal um, straight up six and six. And so because we're symmetrical, we know we're gonna get our six and six. It just falls out that way sometimes, folks. Nice and easy with no extra holes. We got six and six. Um, the next measurement that is really, really important to take to our vamp, and we're gonna measure, notice I'm measuring straight across, right? And I'm not measuring um, at, a, at an angle or I'm not measuring up like this and then adding it to that. I'm just gonna measure straight across. And when I measure straight across, I get seven and three quarters. And that's a really important information for the vamp. So the, the, um, this information was valuable for the vamp, which is the three plus two. And this measurement right here, which is the seven and three quarters, we've just completed our heel piece. Now using the information from this heel piece, from our measurements and tracings that we took, and from the information we've gathered from our midsole, we're now going to build the vamp. That'll be part three. So folks, please support me by doing this. This would be really helpful and I would appreciate it. Now stay tuned because the next part we make is the vamp that covers the toes.